My knowledge for the Five Nights at Freddy's games is terrible at best. So I decided I wanted to change that and went for the Platinum Trophy in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted. And honestly, I still don't know much about the story, but what I do know is that your character is an absolute idiot. I wouldn't have stayed at this place longer than one night after what happens in this game. Anyway, the game has 15 trophies for us to unlock, with the first trophy being your special day for activating the party machine. At the time, I had no idea what pulling this switch would actually do, so more on that later. Shortly after, I picked up a hidden gold coin for the trophy Let's Party. I will actually need to get all 30 of these coins for another trophy though. After exploring the menus a little bit, figuring out the buttons, I jumped into FNAF 1 and got my first little jump scare. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god, he's still there! Alright, mate. And then shortly after, unlock this beauty. Uh -huh. Jesus. Continuing on playing FNAF 1, the way this one works is there's two lights and there's two doors. One of each on either side of the room and a camera. You can turn on the lights and close the doors, but it does consume power. The whole point is to manage the power, make sure it doesn't run out, because if it does, well, you're screwed. So we need to manage all that power until 6am to avoid being killed by the animatronics. Oh my god, that was so close. That was pretty difficult. But I finished night 5 and then moved on to FNAF 2. For this one, we had a vent on either side and a camera, but also a hallway down the middle where we can flash a light. Same as before, keep the animatronics away until 6am, but this time we've got no power to manage. Instead, I needed to keep the music box wound up. Not long after, I finished night 5. Woo, done! And it was then time for FNAF 3. Usual stuff here, survive until 6am. But this time we had to manage two cameras instead of one and there was this little reboot thing that we needed to do there was a computer on the side so we needed to reboot the systems when they went down they usually went down from just being on the camera too long or if we got jump scared nothing too difficult here and probably one of the easiest fnaf games now i tackled the dark rooms which had by far the hardest level in the whole game i needed to flash this teddy before it would jump scare me and I know that sounds pretty easy, you just got a flashlight, you look around the room, but trust me, this level sucked. Bro, why is this level so hard, bro? I hate these little freaking teddies. Come on. I can't do this, bro. Oh my god, finally. Wait, is she gonna... Now, with that absolute frustration out of the way, glad that one was over. I needed to avoid Foxy in a dark room. This one, super, super easy. You flash your light, you take a couple of steps, you see where he is, you flash the light, you can take a couple of steps, you just keep doing that until you reach the door at the end of the room. The door is right there. Nice, we made it. Once I was done with that, I finally unlocked my next trophy called choking hazard for trying to eat an action figure yeah probably not my brightest move now i continued completing more levels i finished the vent repairs the night terrors and then went into the parts and service levels while doing them i strummed bonnie's guitar for the rock trophy Located inside his secondary th Now with all the levels finally complete, or at least what I thought was all of the levels complete, do you remember that switch from earlier that I pulled and everything kind of went a little bit weird looking? Well, when you pull that lever, it actually activates more levels known as nightmare levels, which are basically just harder versions of the ones we've already done with a couple of changes here and there. So I jumped back in to FNAF 1 and once I had it done, I unlocked this. What the f Pop goes the weasel. And then once that was done, you'll never guess what I had to do next. Yeah. The hardest level. Again. But harder. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. And this thing made me want to throw my controller. <sighs> Come on, bro. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, it's 5am, come on, I'm almost there, 
please don't get me. Yes! Oh my god. That mission is so bad. Holy crap. With all that stress, anxiety out of the way, thank god I'm done with that level because that thing sucked. I finally moved on to the last level of the game and it's basically just a, like a maze puzzle thing. The goal is to reach the birthday room and once you do that, you finish the game and you unlocked exotic butters. Wait, what the hell is he waving at? So goodbye for now. <laughs> nice moves. We'll see you on the toy aisle. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care now. After that, I went back into FNAF 1 again and I tried to leave the office. So Went back into the repair and service for Chica and put 25 roaches in the bin for pest control. So now that I've done basically all of the trophies, all of the levels, everything was done at this point. The final thing I needed to really do was complete the prize counter. So do you know that box that I've been opening a couple of times here and there? You get one after each level that you finish. So I went into the level Bonnie's repair and service. It's easy and you can finish it in like 30 seconds and it never changes. So I kept doing this mission over and over again. After a couple of times, I got the final prize for the play trophy. Yeah! Hey, that's all of them, baby. All right, so I decided I'm gonna jump in here now because as you can see, I only need one more gold coin, which I know exactly where it is. And if I have a look at my trophies, I only need four more trophies. So we, of course, a couple of moments ago, got the play trophy, which was for all of the completing the prize machine. So we've got all of the stuff. So now all we need to do is eat a piece of candy all possible edibles in the game find that final token let's go do it shall we right so let's go to the gallery you unlock the gallery once you finish the game check out all the animatronics and stuff which is pretty cool so yeah we should have the final coin there it is this is coin number 30 there we go there's the first trophy find all tokens so that's the first one done now I'm going to go back to the main menu and then into the prize counter. So first I need to eat all of the food items. So let's eat them all. Now I will tell you a story. Eat a piece of candy. So there's the second one. So we need three more now. Oh, what is that? Piece of butter. There's loads of butter. Oh. Wait, there's a button on it. What does that do? Oh, it turned the TV on up there. I think that was like, wasn't that the, uh, the final room of the game in the last mission? The happy birthday room? I wonder if it's something to do with getting all of the uh, tapes. Wait, there's something up there. You see that? Can't interact with it, but there's something. It's like a tape recorder up there. All right, let's get back to eating all of the, uh, the food. There we go. Let's see. I somehow missed one of them. Consume all possible edibles in the game. Right, so yeah, I need one more trophy and the platinum is ours. So I just need showtime. So I need to recreate the main stage show. Ready? There we go, showtime. Didn't, I thought I had to like set them up properly, but I guess not. We recreate the main stage show, which means celebrate the platinum is mine. Unlock all trophies, happy day 